Okay, we are going to talk about trying to access our services. So one of the problems that we have, if we do, let's take a look at this cube control, get all. So we can see that our, our services are up and running. So we have a pod for our KB REST. You can see that on uh, the third line down there, that is up and running. Our REST service is running. And the server says that it is on uh, port 8080. The problem that we are running into here as far as accessing that this is, um, I'm going to take a, a really, really complex topic and uh, try to uh, explain it in a very simplistic way. What's happening is our Kubernetes cluster is creating its own network. It's it's like its own virtual network. It's Granted, it's running on our, our machine, but one of the tells that you can tell if you're uh, a layperson at networking is we are using uh, 10. Dot uh, addresses. So that's an internal uh, IP address that is internal to the Kubernetes cluster. So if I come in here and do, depending on your OS, this command is going to change a little bit, especially for Windows. So here I'm using ipconfig get if address uh, en0. So that is for my uh, wireless network card. So the wireless network, I can see that I'm on a 192 network. So the 192 standards is different from 10. In other words, my network is not set up to talk to that network. We don't have a bridge set up. There's no way for network traffic to get from point A to point B. So even though everything is up, happy in a Kubernetes context, if we had other services running inside of Kubernetes, I could talk to each other happily. The problem is for me on the command line here, I'm outside the cluster. I cannot go in. Uh, you might go, well, how about if I just go to this IP address? That's not going to work. Let me toggle over to uh, Postman. Even though it's running on 8080, that's going to be the 127.0.0.1 address. And we can see that this is not going to set up. There is a utility that we can utilize. I'm going to show you two different ways of getting from network A to network B. We can come back over to the command line. Let me do a clear here. And what I can do is say kube control service KBE rest and then I can map 8080 to 8080 like so and now we can see that I have this this command doesn't come back so it's going to forward that port traffic so it's essentially setting up a tunnel to uh, go from my network to the cluster network now if I come over here yeah have this so I can do a curl so we do have Spring Boot Actuator installed. And we can see that we are getting a, a up status back. And let me come back to Postman. If I run Postman now, you can see that I am in fact getting content back from, from our Spring Boot service. So that, that is now working properly. The route is established, but let me come back over to the command line. It is established because I have port forwarding. We can see that we uh, got Got some chatter there. Now, if I come in and do a command C, that terminates the tunnel. If I come back over here, run that, we see that we failed connect. And again, if I run in Postman, that is also going to fail. If I were to bring that back up, that would uh, re-enable that. So that is one way for testing routes to the Kubernetes cluster is to use this port forward uh, service or command, I should say. This is going to be more applicable when you are working uh, locally with a Kubernetes uh, cluster. So there's a, other techniques as far as exposing services to the world, but we're talking about on actual Kubernetes deployments, not a single node cluster that we are using to learn on.